Hi guys, today we're gonna to be talking about an important topic, which is how do I get my property leads on the phone? Erica, how do we make it happen? The secret sauce yep. <laughs> is speed to response and timeliness. Okay. So we know definitively that the quicker that you can call them after they've inquired, mm -hmm. the higher your conversion rate to an appointment is. Okay, simple. So what do clients need to have in place to allow that to occur. So you need to have an infrastructure in place that allows the uh, that allows a resource to follow up really quickly with those inquiries. So you don't want to have one salesperson dealing with volumes of leads because they're just not going to get to them. Absolutely not. And you want to get onto them quickly because that's when the prospect is thinking about you. Okay. And that that and they're and you're in their consideration side. Fantastic. So outside of timeliness what's another opportunity for maximizing your conversions? So you wanna be able to track the calls that you're actually making okay. and looking at the time of day that you're that, that the calls are being made. Mm -hmm. um, you can also collect profile data of, around your prospects to look at the relationship between the type of person and the time of day that they are converting into an appointment or, or, or being able to be contacted. Okay. So that way you can make more data-driven decisions around how to staff your call center or um, when to actually reach out to a prospect that just comes in. I say, so for example, that might be that you'll know over time when is the right time to contact the first home buyer as opposed to the upgrade or the investor. Absolutely. Okay, fantastic. So outside of those key opportunities, what else is there to do to, to get more in front of prospects? I think that um, we that, that there's an idea that the phone call is the holy grail okay. um, of, the, of communication with the prospect. Yep. But in reality, if they're not answering the phone, that doesn't mean that they're not interested. It just might mean that they're not ready. Okay. And so there's other modes of communication that we can use in order to re to open up the dialogue, but also respect their preferences. Yeah, okay. So we can look at text message, we can look at email, we can look at messenger. And I guess it makes sense because you think about it, you're not using just one channel to attract the lead. So why would you use one channel to convert the lead? You wouldn't. So three key takeouts here. Timeliness is critical. You can use data to drive better decision-making to underpin better conversions. And don't just rely on the phone as the holy grail of converting to appointments.